Hey, it's Dry Bear. Now I've got a quick update for you from the 10.0.7 PTR for World of Warcraft Dragonflight. If you're looking to collect transmogs or catch your alts up to your main character, obviously you have the prime list gear that comes from the storms and the event. You can upgrade once to get it to about normal difficulty raid level, eye level. But with 10.0.7, we're getting a third tier on top of that. So let's dive in that today. If you found value in this video, leave a like down below. It helps me out tremendously. And subscribe if you're looking for more gaming content in the future. And as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live on Twitch every single day, possibly even right now at twitch.tv forward slash dry bear. So we're on the PTR right now. And with this 10.0.7, we know we're getting the new zone, the Forgotten Reach or the Forbidden Reach, whatever you want to call it. It's this uh, little aisle up in the top here. It's going to be a new zone with new drops and new items to look at overall. So once this zone is out in 10.0.7, there will be a third tier for the Primeless gear. So a quick recap for anyone who isn't aware of the Primeless gear system. You can get blue 359 eye level gear by completing the storm invasions that happen all over the Dragon Isles and the new storm event that happens inside of Feldrassus. You can then take those items with the rarer tokens that you get by completing those events and upgrade them from 359 all the way until you get the increased version, which is 385 eye level, the primal infused purple. However, on the PTR, there is a third tier that you can get, which is going to raise it to the highest level. And it's actually pretty easy to do. So you take the blue and you upgrade it to the second tier, and then you upgrade the third tier, it's from the second tier up to 395 eye level using a special currency dropped in the Forgotten Reach or Forbidden Reach, untapped Forbidden Knowledge. This will drop all over the aisle. And as of right now on the PTR, these Forbidden Knowledge drops come from chests, rares, and from special events on the Forbidden Isles. So as long as you're doing activities there, you'll collect the untapped Forbidden Knowledge, and then you can get your characters all the way up to 395 eye level just by doing open world activities, which is pretty cool. And rather than going to, you buy the blues from the first researcher here, the second researcher is what you use on the main retail servers to upgrade to the second tier, but they've added this extra NPC that will upgrade from tier one to tier two, upgrade level, which goes from the blue to the purple, and then you can upgrade that to uh, level three with the 395 eye level, using the storm sigils to get it to the next level, and then the untapped forbidden knowledge. And right now it's only one untapped forbidden knowledge for each piece of item, which is actually super easy. Uh, it will be able to gear that up and it's a nice catch up mechanic for characters or a super easy way to just get gear. Now what's cool about this is they're actually giving this third tier its own transmog appearance. The, the blue and the purple rarities have the exact same blue transmog appearance. There's a yellow version of this that comes from Honor PVP and then the red version is the crafted sets that you can get from the various professions. So you can actually get four different colors of this transmog appearance. This is the cloth transmog, which is the same as the others. It just has this nice fell infused green look to it. This here would be the green version of the leather transmog that you get from the Primalist gear. This is the male transmog for the male set armor that you get from the Primalist gear. And lastly, this is the plate. So it's the same transmog we have, just a different color. So with 10.0.7, four different colors of this transmog appearance will be available. And that's one of the many things coming in 10.0.7. I'll do my best to keep you updated as the PTR gets more and more updates as we near the patch coming out as well. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content, link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.